Very much so. I think that it's not sufficient just to be a family business where you just do uh, your uh, your commitment in the vineyard and your commitment in the in the cellar in the tasting of the wines. You have to move with the times as well. You have to uh, make uh, the packaging and the um, and your marketing has to be amongst the best. Just because we're not uh, Pernarica or Diageo, it doesn't mean you can't be at the very uh, front of uh, wine marketing and the way you present your wine. It, uh, I've learned myself and my family that it's not sufficient just to make great wines and have fantastic vineyards. You have to be able to communicate that to the consumer. And, and that means that you have to do marketing and design which is as good as the best. Um, otherwise, you, you, you just get forgotten in the, in the very competitive area of wines and spirits in the world. We felt that the old tawny category, um, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 year old tawny ports, were um, a category that could do with a, a big boost um, and was um, also very relevant to the way people live. Um, people no longer live, uh, they don't e eat at home in a very formal way, they tend to eat around the kitchen table, they eat very good food, they love to drink good wine. But it's not as formal, you, people don't wear ties so much, you, the formal dinners are, are less part of the European uh, lifestyle. Uh, we need to be relevant to a younger generation or we, or we would lose our position and our whole region depends on being relevant to younger people. So we decided to embark on this exercise of repackaging. Um, uh, obviously the wine is the most important thing, the quality of the wine. But then we had to make sure it looked uh, appealing to, uh, to consumers and hence this project of uh, repackaging our, our Graham's Tawny range. Well, we already had some experience with Saver Glass going back uh, 15 or more years when we um, asked you to, we, we bought from you the um, Ottima, for our Ottima Tawny, um, a glass bottle. And it was the first, um, we were the first company to use white glass for a port. And uh, we loved the design that we saw. Um, I, I saw it on an Armagnac bottle and I thought it was an extremely attractive uh, design. And um, we thought we would um, use that as a trial to see whether we could modernize the image of port. And I think the, the, the classic, the design with the glass base and the tall, elegant bottle was extremely good. I think the quality of the glass is also important. I, I spoke to our production director here and um, the, the, the glass that uh, Saver Glass makes is uh, very um, high, high quality with no defects visible in the glass. And being white glass, of course, any slight defect is very visible. Mm. And that would reflect on the wine in the bottle. So we didn't want that. So we, we felt confident in working with Saver Glass that um, we would have something very, um, of very high uh, quality. And it, it, I mean, so it wasn't only the reputation of Saver Glass that uh, led us to come to uh, uh, initiate this project with you, but it was also our own experience of having worked with Saver Glass for quite a few years already. It, be it became a very obvious choice. We launched this wine in the spring of 2012. Um, we're now uh, late uh, December 2013. The impact has been remarkable. Okay. We have had a really excellent um, reaction to the, uh, to the wines. Our sales have increased. Um, we, we did a very strong marketing exercise of the, the, the talking about the quality of the wine. Um, and I, I was in, there is one thing which is very important to say. In wine, consumers are skeptical a little bit. If you just say this is about marketing, then a lot of wine lovers say it's, it's not something I, I want the wine. So when we relaunched, we spoke mostly about the wine. And then we said, and by the way, we have a beautiful bottle and a nice label. But it's very important to do that because I think that uh, people are cynical. The, especially in wine, about excessive marketing. Mm. But in this uh, example here, um, we, we, the, the, the presentation has clearly been a very important part of the, um, the success of the wine. And, and we, we think we're only just beginning to, uh, um, 
to win the fruits of, of this exercise. It, it's, it's a very um, unusual, nobody else has done anything like this in port um, and the reaction right across the world has been exceptional from Tokyo and Dubai, the UK, France, Canada, um, the USA. Uh, I, I think it's been one of the most satisfying jobs that we have ever been involved in and uh, in, in, in a great part is no doubt due to this very attractive bottle. It was a great project. Mm -hmm.